Hello people of YouTube, it is me Dedica, and today, looking at my playing card collection. Oh, uh, I know, I'm such a nerd. Uh, anyway, here's, uh, there's gonna be some, I don't know, look, boom. This is a bicycle deck. I've many bicycle decks, and a few randoms. Today I'll be looking at all of them. This is one I found at a, uh, what, garage sale type place? It's an interesting deck. Picked it up because. By the way, I bought all these because, like, I don't know, I went through a card phase, magic phase. Oh, I know. Jesus. What are those? But if you have a look, they're all green. Nice, it's just nice green cards. I mean, a bicycle sort of classic. I know I'm zoomed in a lot. Uh, I could zoom out a little bit. Oh, 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 oh. But no, you have a look and they're all green. You know, nice, uh, nice cards. Nice green cards. This one's just a blank one. Which I find pretty amusing. But, uh, you know, you always get two jokers and stuff. But yeah, nice, nice green cards. You know, all there. You know, same bicycle feel, but... I like the look of them. See if we do a shuffle. Ooh, behind the camera. Ooh. Uh, maybe next deck. But no, nice green cards. Nice look. Yeah, very nice. So, there's that one. Rider deck. It's a green one. Elephant. This one. Very interesting. Moving on to the next one. Okay, now this one. We'll do, a, we'll do a good one and, a, and a, a bad one. These ones I just bought for like two bucks. You know, they're alright. They're uh, in a nice little case. Probably paid more for the case than the actual cards. But they are all plastic. All plastic uh, cards. So if you have a look here. Well, they're standard. Not standard. They are slightly... They're not as wide. If we get a... Um, Normal one, see there. Not as wide. Yeah, stand stuff, they fan good, flip good, yeah, they're nice. Two jokers, nothing special. They're back, nothing special. But they're all plastic, so they're very, uh, well, the, the plastic is very, oh, they're very durable. And they're very bendy, like very flexible. So shuffling these is so slippery because they just flip plastic. Very flexible, but uh, I don't know. I don't. I don't play with them. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't play with them, so you know. But there they go. Interesting. Interesting deck. On to the next one. Let's get tactical. Oh, almost matches. That's funny. Now look. So you know again. Collecting, I'm like, oh yeah, cool, these are tactical field playing cards. United States playing card company, made in the USA. Now, supposedly these were um, for the United States military, you know, stuff like that. Ideal. Yeah, for low light environments, I guess. Redlands playable. Now, I didn't know what that was. But I'll get to that in a minute. But actually, your pre deployment inspection checklist. Great for downtime. Super for land, sea, on air. Oh, yeah, cool. Exclusive for juice. There you go. Manager and service members. There you go. Well, not anymore because I just bought these online or something. I'm not sure. Now, I thought, oh, cool, they're going to be cool military ones or something, right? I was very underwhelmed. They are, indeed, we'll get rid of the advertisements. Uh, you know, black back. You know, fan good. They haven't been played with. But no, so. Nothing, uh, nothing special. We've got two jokers. I think these have been shuffled. No, they have not. I don't use them. I just collect them, so they're still going nice and slippery. But no, nothing special. I'm like, oh, oh there you go, face detection. Nothing special. They're just ordinary deck, but the colours are muted. So this red, like, isn't vibrant. Uh, the colours are muted, and I guess so. What I heard that helps it. You play in like nighttime environments, night vision, red lens playable. So they're just muted colours. So I was 
a bit disappointed. I thought I was going to get um, nice military ones. Instead, I just paid like 20 bucks for a slightly muted color deck of cards. On to the next one, jumbo playing cards. Uh, not much more to say. These are just generic $2 shop jumbo playing cards. Uh, like cheap cardboard, plastic -y stuff. Can't shuffle them. Ah! How's it going to show me? Oh god, hang on. Off camera, hold on. Oh, setting them up, setting them up. Oh, oh. Close enough. But not even more of a novelty. Hence why I don't play them and all that. I would find it amusing though if you play with a normal deck. You know, play poker or whatever. And you have your cards. And like you very obviously, as a joke, reach under and go, <coughs> and then pull out like two of these. No, I'm not cheating. No, I didn't. Bit of, bit of a dad joke type thing there. Jesus Christ. All right. Moving on to the next one. Hey, I'm a professional poker. And so I bought these, even though I don't have any friends. Look, again, these are bicycles, so they're good. Poker Pleak. Poker Pleak? Poker Peak Pro playing cards. Uh, you know, durable, innovative. Okay. Look, all they are. Oh, there's jokers. Nice little jokers there. One colour, one black and white. A couple of advertisements, as you do. Bicycle, nice little pro stuff. Nice, easy to fan. Stuff like that. You know, but as you'll notice, well, they're, they're for poker. Big faces, very big faces. What else I got in the corners? What's that? Nice little peek. So, you know, you get drawn your card. You just kind of go like, oh, what have I got? Oh, oh, what a night. What a night. Very cool. And what they're talking about innovative. Oh, just cover the whole camera there. The edges are um, cut weird. So, like, they're almost rough edges. So, you can shuffle it a bit more. You know? Do a shuffle of these off camera. Oh, set them up. Uh huh. Very nice, very nice. Uh, but yeah, you know, don't play poker. So, move on to the next one, I guess. Hey, you like money? What about a hundred Australian dollary dues? Oh shit, I'm opening these. Ugh, these uh, are. Terrible, terrible cut is just like novelty ones, of course. Hundred dollars real gold certificate. Wow. Interesting. They're hundred percent plastic. So you know, they shuffle all right. They can, you know, whatever. Oh, oh hey, I don't like them because they're they're too slippery. They fall on the ground. Like you try and grab, and they just slide out of each other. They're not good if you don't know what you're doing. I'm going to jump cut to clean this up. Wow, that was a jump cut. Uh, look, yeah, standard, they're gold, a bit hard to read. They, they're too slippery. Plastic though, so they'll never really, you could wash them, you could literally, like the Australian dollar, they represent, they're plastic and can be washed. Fun fact. On to the next one. Hey, let's gamble, baby. Crown Casino here in Australia. I don't know if it's in any other countries, but we have Crown Casino and these are some old retired cards. Now these are a bit of fun actually. I've got a few others from real casinos. I uh, picked this up, I don't know where. But uh, you can't, fun fact, you can't buy them anymore at Crown. Um, they do not sell their retired cards anymore. Apparently people you know, still tried to bring them in and use them, but you'll see why that is a stupid idea. So, here you go, there, there's a date. 94. Older than me, look at that. So, you'll see why that's, people tr apparently tried bringing them in and, you know, doing all sorts of fun stuff with them. There you go, we've well, got, tells a nice little story. So, Go, touch it there. Here's a nice little story on the back here. Every deck of cards is a unique part of gaming history. Mm. Uh, is, there you go, played his life at Crown Casino. If these cards could talk, imagine the stories they could tell. Oh. Uh, government requirements, a hole's been drilled. 
Uh, yeah, so, I don't know if it's government requirements, but I mean, you know, uh, why wouldn't you? They have a hole in them. As you can see, hello. They just drill a hole through the entire deck to pretty much say, hey, these are non, non play, these are not in play. But, you know, so these were out on a, on a real casino floor. A bit worn in. I don't know how often they retire decks of cards after how many plays. That'd be interesting. You know, they've got bajillions of dollars. That's a nice with a joker go. Ooh. Yeah, you can name a number and shit so if you lose it. Back of, back of them are not anything special. Yeah. I don't know how, yeah, I don't know if they like after one game they retire it. That'd be pretty, pretty silly, but they got millions of billions of dollars, so decks of cards would, you know, they have their own brand, so they could literally do that after one, every game, but I don't know after how long they're certainly played in. Oh, they shuffle good. I oh, know no one cares, but hey. Lockdown videos. Not really an even shuffle. Oh, shuffle alright. Um, but you know, so not full face, not big face. They're just uh, normal, normal cards, but they're from a real casino. So interesting. You know, exactly the stories they could tell. You know, flip a card, oh, you lost a million dollars. I don't know. Also, the germs. Ugh. But, you know, they'll be long dead by now. On to the next one! Okay, so you know how I said you can't buy uh, retired decks of cards anymore? Packs of cards, deck of cards. This is what you can buy now. So I went there looking for some new ones and they don't do it. I'm disappointed. But they do have these. Which, if you look, may be a little familiar. If you look hard, see this has crown on it. And oh, would you look at that. They have crown on it. So you have a look. Oh dear, they're the exact same thing as the $100 ones. So I was very disappointed. I overpaid as well. I regret buying these. $15 or something. For essentially, they just, same supplier, they just work their. Anyway, on to the next one. Speaking of retired uh, casino decks, here's some more. A red and a blue deck, very lucky to find them. Uh, same type of thing. You're holding a part of gaming history. Uh, fortunes change with the turn of these cards. Holding each card complies. Yep. This one's not open. I lie, it is. I take the bottom up, but this one is. Again, nice real cards. I think these from 70s or 80s. I'm not 100% sure. Certainly, certainly not one. I like the back on this. It almost reminds me of like uh, Supreme or something, you know. Oh, well, you know, I don't know. Joker, what we got? Same hole in every card because they're retired. Nice big face on these. So these are definitely for the poker. Muted colors. Yeah, so these are kind of the same as the military ones. But, you know, very interesting. Again, imagine what would have happened. Yeah, these would be in the casino. I don't know. Just fun little thing. I've got a red and a blue deck. So, you know. I've got a complete set. Moving on to the next one. Ah, uh, the in. This is another casino one. Oh, I've got a quite few. Collected few. There you go. Oh, there's a phone number on there. Oh, uh, Oh well, no one's gonna watch this anyway. Um, again, nice, nice backs. These are a real casino. Hold drill to them? Yes, hold drill to them. Are uh, they off center? Though. Very weird. Uh, they didn't drill them in the center. They drilled them at the bottom. But a nice full face poker again. You know, just standard cards, really. They're nothing special, but. Certainly cool. Here you go. What's that? 1987? Yeah. 1987. So, there you go. Very old cards. Moving on. Are you patriotic? Because I am. God damn. So these... Okay. There's a bullet somewhere. I don't know. But these... They're... 
Oh wow, they're a lot thinner. Oh my god, these are probably the cheapest feeling ones here. Holy crap, I haven't messed with these in a long time. Trying to flag on it because, you know, ugh. They're thin, but not in a, like the plastic, you think, like they're, they're the cardboard. They're absolutely terrible. Standard face. Standard back, like, Ameri you know, American? Australian bloody flag on it. Nothing special about them, though. Paid more for the case they come in than the cards, probably. Bugh. All right, well, I'm out. Next one. Here's an interesting one. Bicycle playing cards. Seconds. So if you don't know what those are, they're pretty much, uh, you know, well, you've got the good ones that they ship out, and then you have ones that might have a little blemish on them, or a mistake or something on them, and instead of throwing them out, they do the genius thing of selling them for full price, and they double their money, so, Jesus, or not for full price, okay, I lied, they're a little cheaper. But, I mean, to be honest, I think you can get a standard one cheaper, though. They're, I don't know. I don't know. But there you go. So these are... These are second. So these all have... The whole deck has a mistake on it. So if you notice, it's all chopped off there, as you can see. Got a nice gap. It's all chopped off, so the printing has been moved over to the right. Of course, they're supposed to throw those in. And I'm very lucky to get this one, actually, because I've looked up other people's videos on the seconds. On the seconds, and their cards look pretty much normal, except for some discolouring or something. Some guy's like, oh, I've got a really normal deck in it. So he's like, oh, it's a cheaper than normal deck. So I'm very lucky to get something unique. Um, interesting conversation piece. So not only are they moved over, I've got a red line on it. I don't know if that is like how they mark them as seconds. I don't know if they all have those. Mine's got not only the nice little striped red side, they're cut off slightly, so everything's cut off, as you can see, so that there's some, if I can find it here, oy! Never been played with, so they're very new. There you go, some with weird discoloration on it. So, you know, it's a bit interesting. I mean, you could play with these, there's nothing stopping you from playing with them. Just a fun little conversation piece. They're very, they're like a unique little, um, yeah, unique, unique cards. So, yeah, uh, nice little red stripe. But yeah, so kudos to them for like, hey, all these cards that we can't make money on, let's still sell them. I mean, why wouldn't you? Uh, next, moving on to the next one, I suppose. Here's some I found at an op shop. Supreme Poker. No, it's not Supreme you're thinking of. Uh, they're just looking at two decks, red and blue. These ones are actually nice. Three Jokers. Although this one doesn't state it's a Joker. Three Jokers. Nice back to them, nice shine. They are large face. I'm not too sure. Large face cards, very nice in the hand, very nice feel, but they're incredibly stiff, very stiff, so shuffling these is quite the hassle, actually, like, oh, oh. so stiff, I guess I just need to be played and worn in, but like, oof. Yeah, ain't nothing special though, they're just average cars after that. But they're actually quite nice. Yeah, large index. So there you go. This weird, soft, squishy case. I don't know. Moving on to the next one. Here's a fun one. Probably my favourite childhood show. The Rugrats. Dun 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 dun. Ah! Good memories. So these are, uh, yeah, nice. Actually, a nice deck of cards. I thought these were going to be terrible. I got them from Zing, which is Ivy Games, which is GameStop. Uh, you know, whatever. I'm like, oh yeah, they had a few others. You know, Nickelodeon shows. I was expecting them to be terrible quality. These are actually surprisingly good. I haven't shuffled them, so they're they're a little curved. They come 
but they're nice, they're, they're pretty high quality. Uh, they have a nice air cushion finish. They don't really sh uh, fan very well, but uh, yeah. They're very nice. They're a bit weird, I suppose. Now, here's the back. So, oh, of course, all of them have the same. Back, rug rats, got a nice selfie, you know, and each card, each, so each suit uh, has a different color. Which is, I guess, good for identifying them. If you remember the colors, you know the suit. And then, of course, each suit, besides the color, also have like different pictures of everyone. You know, you got Stu and, and you know, Grandpa, he's pretty cool. And, you know, we got usually Pickles and Tommy and all the, all the good stuff. <laughs> Philip, Phil, Phil, and Philip, Phil, and Phil, those things. It's been a while. Look. Oh, yeah, Chucky. The non killer Chucky, of course. Mind you, could be a killer. Uh, but you know, very, very, actually, very nice quality. I was pre pleasantly surprised. Moving on to the next ones. Oh, and I forgot to mention the Joker's a reptile. So, the, the extra bonus. Now, here's one that's my second favorite deck. I'll leave my favorite to last because it's, well, it's not, I'm not surprised. Ones are flying machines, and this is one of like the first I bought. Imagination, you know, it's a very nice deck. These ones are actually really well done. So look at the back on these. I really like that. Look at that. A lot of detail in them. And look at that. So the cards are all like steampunk. Like look at that. That's cool. I'll show you like little details. So you got the Joker. He's flying away. Oh shit, spoils. Oh no. Little flying machine crashed. But here we go. So all the, the kings. Kings? Queens? No, no. The face cards. So they're all nice little steampunk. They have these uh, like flying machine. Flying machines, I guess. Yeah. Zeppelin type stuff. And they're all in colour. They're all in colour. You can't see, but it has like a blue around it, nice little blue. They're very nice cards. I wouldn't dare play with these. And of course, you know, that's the guy who designed them. So, you have a little steampunk. Really nice cards, really nice. I'm very pleased with these. Ooh, but yeah, so these are just nice cards. And the Jokers are pretty cool, he's crashed, oh no, he's fine. But yeah, so flying machines, would recommend those. Okay, here's one that I used a lot. So this one's Bicycle Warhorse. I don't know, I'm not the biggest fan of these, I think they're on sale. So these are the ones I play with and then muck around and don't really care if they get damaged. Um, I don't know, apparently, so that's the back. Uh, I don't like him, that's, personally, I'm not a big fan of it. Oh, I like horses, but this, I don't know. And so apparently, if you're born in those dates, people born in horse years. Oh. So it's like, I don't know. I don't know. But standard faces, you'll notice these, these is a very worn in. I've played them a lot. Yeah, let's see if we can do a trick. Hold on. Uh, 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 oh, and then we split it. Oh. Oh, it really is very easy to do that. It's, it looks a lot harder. But you'll notice they're all a bit dirty. Oh! Oh, look at them. Ah, that's just dirt. I played with these incredibly. Uh, these are, you know. I know, I know. Don't worry, I, did, like, I didn't just pick up Cheetos and played with these. But it surprised me how quickly they got dirty. And I don't know how to clean them. Because they're cardboard. You can't just wash these. So I tried getting them off and yeah, I can't be stuffed. But you know, nice, nice deck, I suppose, you know. But they're good. I don't mind shuffling these, I don't mind mucking around with these. You know, just a nice, well, you know, I'm not the biggest fan of the design, so I don't really care if they get worn out or anything. You know, if you speak to like any magicians or card mechanics, they pretty much like swap decks very quickly. As soon as I get worn in, that. Nah. So that's why if you talk to a magician, 
make a joke about, oh, let me guess, your closet is full of deck of cards or something. New ones, and they'll laugh because that's probably the case. Speaking of magic, let's look at some magic cards. Again, when I went through my magic phase, um, yeah, yeah. Uh, I bought some magic cards. What's magic about these? They're marked. So you can tell the card from looking at the back somewhere. I'll see if you guys can get it. These are branded ones. These are Constantino. So he, I actually met him a long time ago. Um, he seemed like a bit of a dick, to be honest. Uh, but I had a signature from him. Could be worth heaps. There's a, a three of hearts there. I don't. I guess you could use that in part of a trick. You could be like, well, let me guess which your card, the three of hearts. And they go, oh, we or wow. But the thing is, if you're showing someone, whoa, weird jump cut there. If you're showing, if you're using this deck in a magic trick, you got, you got to be a bit, a bit, um, be careful because it literally says marked cards on on the packet <laughs> so like if you're doing magic tricks of these and someone's like oh hang on you're using marked cards so I guess you just cover that and be like you've got the three of hearts so that was just there for looks I don't know this is the only deck of cards that comes with instructions but they're pretty simple you don't need them so these are jokers Here's the cards. You know, nothing, nothing special. Get rid of the jokers, they're nothing special. But, you know, full face. They could take plays with poker. And to be honest, that would be good because they're marked. So, let's see if you can guess. So let's do, let's prove it. Also, the brand is Queen's Slippers. I'm not the biggest fan of them. I prefer Bicycle, I think everyone does. But, um, they, they've got a bit too stiff. But that's okay. I suppose if they wear in, they'll be fine. Let's give them a shuffle. Okay, let's do some magic here. Okay, do it on a shuffle. Cut the deck. Okay. Now let me have a look. Let me use my magic powers. Okay, this is this is the king of diamonds. Oh, how do I know that? Not dubbed. This is the four of diamonds. Ooh, how do I know that? This is the four of clubs. Ooh, how do I know? Well, they're marked. But looking at that, can you see? It's actually pretty simple. It is. It is uh, there's been marked cards where you have to, like, count dots. And it's like, oh, you look at the very top. You know, you look at a, you look at a specific point on the card. And you've got to count the dots or something, you know. If, it's like, oh... You gotta count how many those, and then when there's a 12, it means it's a C. And that shit hurts my head. You gotta real learn it. These are probably just the simplest of of designs. It, it pretty blatant. Once you know it, it pretty blatantly tells you. So this is the Queen of Clubs, Nine of Clubs. You know, stuff like that. I can do, do this all day. Every card is marked. Even the Jokers, they're marked as well. Eight of what is that? Is an eight. I don't know that much. Oh, it's spades. Ah, I forgot. I forgot what that was called. But yeah, so have a look. Pause it. Have a look. Once you see it, it's very obvious. Like very obvious. And that's what I like about them. This is yeah, the uh, Jack of Hearts. I'm also joking. These are not actually marked. I'm just a god at uh, cards. I'm just a just a god. But you know, so they're my favourite because their simplicity of how they're marked. You don't have to count, you don't have to do anything silly. It's just blatantly there. Magic. Next cards. And this is the final. Whoa, I bumped the camera. And this is the final deck of cards. My favourite deck. Took a while to hunt these down. If you know me, I'm into my horses and unicorns. So of course. The unicorn deck. That's correct. Nice cards. Nice cards. I mean, can't go wrong with a good old unicorn deck. Never been shuffled. So, nice purpley color. Oh, yeah, we got a full, got a half. 
characters, of course. Look at that. Unicorn power! Yeah, nice and purpley. The cards, these are just nice, nice cards. Like, if we, nice little purple, uh, purple accent. Look at that, some nice little colours, not, you know, little hints of colour. And the pink. I love them, they're really cool. But other than the colour scheme, uh, this one's cool as well. This is like a double one, so I'm gonna use that in magic, I suppose. But uh, yeah, so there you go, that's my collection. I hoped you all enjoyed. Because, uh, I don't know, I'm bored. And you're bored because you watched this. If you got this far, type banana in chat so I know you watched it.